Donald Trump given big birthday cake at Singapore summit. Donald Trump given big birthday cake at Singapore summit as he prepares to meet Kim Jong Un alone. North Korea promised a new era and birthday boy Donald Trump hailed excitement in the air as he and Kim prepare to meet without aids in Singapore. Donald Trump has celebrated his 72nd birthday with a big cake as he prepares for a summit that could change the nuclear destiny of the entire world. North Korean media today hailed a new era and Trump tweeted there was excitement in the air. In a heady build-up to the summit in Singapore. The U.S. president is expected to be alone in a room with North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un for up to two hours when they meet from 2 a.m. UK time on Tuesday. Only translators will be present for the meeting at a luxury Singapore resort, a U.S. official said, suggesting there will be no aides or note-takers, a highly unusual move. Officials could then drop in for a further hour but they admitted, we will not be surprised by any scenario. Trump himself has said he could make a decision in the first minute or spur of the moment, raising the possibility he could make a commitment with no aides or note-takers present. Both leaders were kicking their heels today after arriving more than 24 hours early, while their officials rolled the pitch with two hours of initial talks. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said the initial talks, thought to focus on nuclear weapons and sanctions, were moving quite rapidly. We anticipate that they will come to their logical conclusion even more quickly than we anticipated, he added. Pompeo dropped a strong hint the U.S. could scale back its presence in South Korea as he vowed to give Kim unique assurances on security. But he said sanctions will remain and the objective has not changed, the U.S. wants verifiable and irreversible denuclearization of North Korea. Trump, who turns 72 this Thursday, was presented with his cake at a lunch meeting with Singapore's Prime Minister Lee Jian Lung. Lobster bisque, beef tenderloin and ice cream were also on the menu. Trump told Lee, We appreciate your hospitality and professionalism and friendship. You're my friend. Meanwhile Kim Jong-un remained locked away from sight in the heavily guarded St. Regis Hotel where he is staying. There was no sign of his sister, Kim Yo Jong who accompanied him and The Guardian reported guests at the hotel were ordered to delete photos by North Korean security. Kim arrived in Singapore yesterday surrounded by his army of running bodyguards, now famous after being shown back in April. What the Trump-Kim summit means for the world? What do the two sides want? Trump wants North Korea to ditch its nuclear weapons, which Kim threatened to use in strikes on the U.S. mainland. North Korea wants its own security guaranteed and sanctions lifted. Why does North Korea worry about its security? The 1950s conflict between North Korea and the U.S. backed South ended without a peace treaty, so America and North Korea are technically still at war. Kim, sees the U.S., with its 30,000 troops in South Korea, as a threat, and the U.S. campaigns in Afghanistan. Iraq and Libya reinforced his view that nuclear weapons are necessary to deter a U.S. intervention. What might be the result of talks? In exchange for economic assistance and security guarantees, North Korea would give up its nuclear weapons. Is accepting North Korea as a nuclear-armed state an option? Some analysts have suggested it is the best way to ease tensions, but doing so could lead South Korea. Japan and even Taiwan to seek their own nuclear arms. Is denuclearization actually feasible? North Korea has talked about denuclearization for years, but it has not stopped them beefing up their nuclear arsenal and conducting missile tests. What will happen if the summit fails? South Korea is expected to renew diplomatic efforts to restore stability and avoid military conflict. The summit's venue is the Capella Hotel on Sentosa, a resort island off Singapore's port with luxury hotels, a Universal Studios theme park and man-made beaches. Trump and Kim are staying in separate hotels in the famous Orchard Road area of Singapore, dotted with high-rise luxury apartment blocks, offices and glittering shopping malls.
Traffic was held up in the steamy midday sun and scores of bystanders were penned in by police when Trump went to meet Lee. North Korea's state-run KCNA news agency said the two sides would exchange wide-ranging and profound views to reset relations. It heralded the summit as part of a changed era. The U.S. is seeking the complete, verifiable, irreversible denuclearization of the Korean peninsula. But North Korea has previously rejected the idea of unilateral disarmament. Trump warned last week the meeting may not give a clear outcome. And many experts on North Korea, one of the most insular and unpredictable countries in the world, remain skeptical Kim will ever completely abandon nuclear weapons. They believe Kim's latest engagement is aimed at getting the United States to ease the crippling sanctions that have squeezed the poor country. Pompeo said the summit was an unprecedented opportunity to change the trajectory of our relationship and bring peace and prosperity. But he too played down the possibility of a quick breakthrough, saying the summit should set the tone for hard work that will follow. He added sanctions on Kim's regime will increase if there's no breakthrough. UK Prime Minister Theresa May's spokesman said, We have welcomed the fact the summit is taking place. We need to see an improvement that brings about the complete, verifiable and irreversible denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. We will continue to work with our international partners to strictly enforce existing sanctions until such time that North Korea turns its commitments into concrete steps towards denuclearization.